I'm going to make a start. So welcome um, to the Star Wars. Thank you so much for giving up your time to be with us this afternoon. My name is Emmy and I'm the VP Education and I'm going to be presenting these awards this evening. And I'm joined today by my colleagues, Steph and Emma from the Student Voice team and Charlie as well. So they're all going to give you a wave. So the Student Staff Teaching and Representation Awards are our annual opportunity to recognise the amazing staff and students that we have here at the University. So the first presentation I'm going to give today is the Course Rep of the Year Award. And the course reps are elected to re represent the views of students on their programme. This is awarded to a course rep who has gone above and beyond to ensure that the student voice is truly heard and acted upon. The criteria for this award is that you must make time for students, being the clear link between the student body, the student's union and the university at a programme level. You have to be proactively engaging with students and showing an enthusiasm to learn about their concerns and their ideas, actively encouraging constructive feedback. You must use appropriate and tailored methods to frequently collect student feedback and then disseminate any key information and outcomes to your programme all in a timely manner. So I'm delighted to present this award to Ellis Pierce. Thank you so much. You'll have to bear with me. I'm in the back of the car because I'm on my driving course, my blue light driving course. But thank you so much. <laughs> we are also delighted to announce that Elizabeth Staples is this year's Faculty of Arts, Business and Humanities winner of the award. Um, I just want to say, like, oh, it sounds so cheesy, doesn't it? But yeah, I feel a bit emotional, actually. It was, it's really funny because the one thing I wanted to do when I started university was not be a mum and be whoever is that I'm when I'm not being a mum. And I really quickly realised I could not be a mum. And um, yeah, it, it, yeah, God, I feel so silly. But um, I am incredibly touched and proud and, um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, it means an awful lot. Thank you. So I'm delighted to announce and present the Course Rep of the Year Award for the Faculty of Science and Engineering winner to Annabelle Mears. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great. I'm glad it's, uh, yeah, glad it helped people. <laughs> so I'm delighted to announce that Pascal Shivers has been highly commended within the Faculty of Art, Humanities and Business for this award. So the Course Rep of the Year Award Faculty Highly Commended is Talia Pellegrin. I'm finishing my university obviously here and I'm moving on but I've really really enjoyed these past three years and they've been really um, life-changing as uh, the, the person who nominated me said and I'm really glad that I managed to help people along the way and make the best of the experience that I've made the best of and um, I really enjoyed my time at Plymouth University so I'm really happy that I get to, to be nominated for uh, showing how much I like this university and my course. We are delighted to present Course Rep of the Year Award for the Faculty of Health Highly commended to Maisie Hines. Yay! I just like to say thank you to everyone and thank you to you guys for organising this. Um, and thank you to everyone in SSLC because you've all made it really easy to give you feedback from all the students. So, yeah, just thank you so much. The criteria for this award is that you must make time for students and form the clear link between the student body, the student union and the university at a school and faculty level. You must proactively engage with course reps and show enthusiasm to learn and act upon their concerns and ideas. You must effectively communicate the student voice and implement decisions making at a high level at university and student union meetings, whilst also using appropriate and tailored methods to disseminate any key information and outcomes to your school and wider student body. So I'm delighted to announce that the highly commended School Rep of the Year Award goes to India Ellis. So I am very happy to announce and present today the School Rep of the Year Award to Vivian Hocking. 
Thank you, Emmy. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit speechless. I honestly wasn't expecting that. Um, thank you very much. Um, I've been doing representation my entire time here at the university um, and as a school I absolutely love the engagement that we get um, so thank you very much to everybody that's been a part of student-led change over the last sort of few years. Thank you. So the part-time officers are elected to represent particular groups or demographics of students to support them and make sure their voice is heard at all levels across the university and the students you get. The criteria for this award is that you must make time for students being a clear link between the student body and the students union, using appropriate and tailored methods to proactively collect student feedback and opinions. Um, and you must act upon this before feeding the outcomes back to your students that you represent. You must also motivate students to take part in campaigns and be passionate about influencing positive change while supporting other representatives on their campaign. So I'm delighted to award the Part-Time Officer of the Year Award to Samuel Pritchard. Uh, thank you um, to, to whoever nominated me. Uh, I generally thought I wouldn't get this. Um, I took on the role after I saw no one was um, the LGBT Part-Time Officer. And I'm just glad to you know, to work with the SGA. And there are so many deserving people who um, deserve this award, in my opinion, more than me, but I'm so grateful to, um, to be awarded. Thank you very much. The Postgrad Supervisor of the Year Award goes to a postgraduate supervisor to recognise their contribution to the student's academic experience. The criteria for this award is that you must care about your students' academic progress and well-being, giving them feedback, providing resources and offering help and guidance. You must have a professional approach with good teaching skills that inspire students and make learning interesting. We're, we're delighted to present this award to uh, Noria Benet. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Um, it's been a pleasure working with these students um, who have actually read all that stuff that I find for them. So uh, it's nice that he comes back as well the other way around. So today we are delighted to, to present the Postgraduate Supervisor of the Year Award, highly commended to Mona Nasser. Yay. <laughs> um, the only thing to say is I really enjoy working with uh, the postgraduate students are not here, but the post postgraduate, but also undergraduate, both the DPH and CSP. It's really fun to work with you all, guys all and seeing all of the amazing critical thinking everybody has and the creative ideas they're bringing is a joy. So thank you. This award is for a program lead who has made a recognizable difference to your experience within your program. And the criteria for this award is that you must listen and respond to student feedback, actively involving students in decisions, thus creating a working relationship with your students, course reps and school reps. You must show enthusiasm and dedication to your program and seek additional development opportunities for your students. So we are delighted to say that the Faculty of Science and Engineering highly commended is Catherine Hethborn. I'm just really touched. My heart is going crazy, which you wouldn't think, but yeah. Um, I just, I don't know, the whole team has been working really hard to try and like compensate for the fact that students are obviously not going to the zoo. So it's really nice to hear that they're happy with what we've done. And a lot of those things in that little list, they're on my to-do list for the summer. So that's a little <laughs> nudge to make sure we keep on, like keep in touch with the students over that time as well. So yeah, just thank you. For We're delighted to say that Andy Humphrey has been highly commended within Faculty of Arts, Humanity and Business this award. Congratulations, Bill. We are delighted to say that you've been highly commended for a Programme Leader of the Year Award for the Faculty of Health. Well done. So we are delighted to present the Programme Leader of the Year Award for the Faculty of Health to Louise Aldridge. Thank you so much. 
I don't actually know what to say and I feel like crying so <laughs> but um but the, I mean the students have a lot to contribute to all of this I mean anything I've done they've done more and beyond the fact that they're even here is an absolute mega achievement and they deserve to be here but I do appreciate it and I do appreciate their words and their thoughts and I'm really really looking forward to seeing them be doctors progress through the years and just be the best doctors ever so thank you guys thank you so so much <laughs> So within the programme of the Leader of the Year Award category, we also are delighted to, pronounce, to present Timothy Scott as the winner of the Faculty of Science and Engineering. Uh, I, yeah, I'm really honoured actually to get the award. Um, I wasn't necessarily expecting it. Um, I think we've had a really good cohort this year. They've been fantastic and they've, um, they've dealt really well with the challenges that we've had. And I think having a really good set of uh, course reps has been really good as well for communication. Um, I think we we got a small but quite a tight knit team within the sort of hydrography area. So I think we've kind of managed to bandy together pretty well over the uh, and sort of react as much as we can to help the students through the year. So thanks for the team really uh, for doing uh, a lot of the work for me. So that's been really good. So yeah, uh, thanks very much. Much appreciated. And we're delighted to announce that Christopher Booth is this year's overall winner across the university. slightly emotional I won't lie um yeah the, I simply couldn't have done it without the support of the students this year you know they've I think assisted me um in delivering the course to them as much as you know kind of I've I've sort of obviously successfully de delivered to their expectations as well so supportive you know they really showed this year that they understand that actually as teaching staff we are only human um and you know having that kind of platform to, to kind of work on has, has been great um this is my first year as a program leader as well so that's uh yeah i don't i'm, I'm just waffling now but thank you very much for for that thank you <laughs> this award is for an individual or individuals that really put equality and diversity at the heart of everything that they do the criteria for this award is that you must use innovative methods to encourage an inclusive and accepting environment and support students to overcome barriers in achieving their career goals. You must also push students to challenge their perceptions and stereotypes whilst encouraging the accurate representation of staff and students with diverse backgrounds and experiences. So I'm so delighted to announce that the winners for the Mel Joyner Award for Championing Equality and Diversity are Melton Osman, Homan Chow, Kevin Beckless and Chelsea Church. Hi, um, thank you for the nomination um, and thank you for the award. I think speaking on behalf of all of us, um, we felt very lucky um, when we started all of this to have a course team that were so receptive um, and open to doing things differently. Um, as, as you've sort of said, you've read out, we're in contact with a lot of other courses who run Declins, and um, I'm really confident when I say this, but what, what our course team feel very unique in that um, other trainees have really struggled to to make um, steps forward in sort of decolonizing the curriculum and um, challenging themselves in doing things differently and taking risks and hoping to see if they pan out. So we're really lucky to have had a course team that sort of let us do that um, and and were willing to sort of give us a share of the power um, so so thank you I think there's something really special um, at Plymouth there seems to be a real commitment to make these changes which we're we're aware a lot of places pay lip service to but doesn't always bear fruit or bear out um, through through many different barriers so and particularly to so sort of Jackie, who's leaving us this year as the um, programme director. Yeah, we, we just don't think it would have been possible without her. Um, she, she's been a great asset to the course and we, we're, all, we're all graduating this year. So um, they, they've, they've sort of 
trained us in a way where well I think we, we've built a lot of confidence and we we feel, we feel like we can bring this forward into our career not just as trainees but as qualified clinicians as well so thank you very much everyone so we are pleased to say that Cameron Ali has been highly commended for the Mel Joyner Award for championing equality and diversity. Yeah, uh, I'm very pleased to be honoured um, and I'll, I'll thank uh, Chris and the entire SMT because we worked as a team to promote uh, equality and diversity. So, and thank you to the organisers for this event. Thank you very much. So the next award is for the Personal Tutor of the Year. Your personal tutor can often be a lifeline during your time at university on all things academic and pastoral. The criteria for this award is that you must make time for your students and treat them as individuals. You must show a willingness to listen, advocate for their needs and help them to succeed whilst championing and inspiring them to reach their full potential. Doing so, you can make a real difference to their experience. So I am delighted to announce that the highly commended Personal Tutor of the Year Award goes to Judith Kabochi. So we would like to present the Faculty of Science and Engineering, highly commended to Robert Pushendorf. I'm not really sure I was getting tearful there. Nobody said so many nice things in a long time, so thank you. Um, I think they missed to say that I'm also slightly mad and maybe that's why they enjoy the tutorials. Um, but I mean, this coming in a, in a year of, the, of a pandemic, um, yeah, it means a lot, really. I definitely feel for a, what's been happening to a lot of the students, and um, I'm glad that I was able to do a little bit of good. So thank you very much to all of you guys who, who put that in front of you, the committee. Thank you. Um, I'm going to move on to the next one, which again is the Personal Tutor of the Year Award um, for the Faculty of Science and Engineering. And the winner is Louise Firth, but she unfortunately couldn't make it today, but this is being recorded. So we're gonna send her the recording and I'm gonna read out her nomination. We are delighted to announce that the winner for Personal Tutor of the Year Award goes to Sharon Evans. So congratulations to Sharon. So this award is for a member of staff who shows passion and enthusiasm for teaching and inspires their students to be the best that they can be. The criteria for this award is that you must show passion and enthusiasm for teaching your respective subject, sharing your depth of knowledge and demonstrating complex skills inside and outside of a lecture or lab. You must have an engaging, interactive and innovative teaching style, which makes subjects more interesting, whilst explaining concepts clearly, inspiring confidence and promotion and promoting skill development. So we are delighted to award the Faculty of Arts, Humanity and Business highly commended Inspirational Teaching Award to Lisa de Blasio. Um, I'm kind of a little bit speechless um, because I really was not expecting. I thought I could just sit here in the corner um, and clap and be happy for everyone. Um, and then just sneak off. So I wasn't actually, I can normally manage to sit under the radar, but clearly not today. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's all absolutely lovely. I mean, I do all of that because I love my job. Um, and it's, it, I suppose sometimes there might be occasions where we, we, we have a bad day where we feel like we're not appreciated. Um, but hearing all of that, it just shows that every little bit you put in, um, you know, you do get back what you put in. Um, so, you know, bless them all. They've worked really hard this year. So really it ought to be them getting the Star Award, not me, but, but thank you. That's really lovely. The highly commended Inspirational Teaching Award is going to go to Annabelle Gorham. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Congratulations, John. And we are delighted to award you the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Business Inspirational Teaching Award. Uh, thank you and yeah that's that's wonderful to hear that's that stage two sort of run in particular have been a, an amazing group and have dealt with huge huge challenges over the last year in the wake of covid and everything else so i'm um i'm glad to hear that uh, that that has been good and useful and has kept them kept them on track and kept them passionate so uh, 
yeah, it's a, it's a credit to them as much as to me, I think. Thank you. So I'm delighted to present the Inspirational Teaching Award winner to Stephen Minton. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm absolutely blown away and therefore I'm really not going to sound very inspirational. I, I recognise this irony. Um, it, it's wonderful to get this award and to be inspirational or perceived as inspirational at a time when we're still talking to each other as two-dimensional images, you know? So um, th that's really that's really quite, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Um, I do have to thank, um, I'm relatively new to the university despite my aged appearance, excuse the COVID beard, um, but um, I've been here a couple of years and I've received nothing but really, really good support um, from my new staff colleagues, um, which I, I, I need to thank them all for that, for the little bits of conversation, the tips, the sort of getting used to the specific needs of Plymouth students. And I, I should say with um, being as it seems to come from the second year undergraduates, um, they met me there. You know, we negotiated the the constraints together. So um, a big credit as well as big thanks to them. So um, yeah, not too inspirational, but thank you very much. It's a real honor, thank you. So I'm delighted to present the highly commended for the Inspirational Teaching Award to Nicola Harmer. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm overwhelmed. Um, just to say thank you so much to the, the students who've nominated me and for being such amazing students this year. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure um, and inspiration to teach, to teach all of you. And, and thank you also to all my wonderful colleagues. So thank you very much. So we are delighted to announce that the Inspirational Teaching Award overall winner is Matthew Craven. Thank you very much. I had no idea about this at all. So yeah, strange hearing some of these things about myself that I'm described as Zen. I've never heard that before in my life, but um, yeah, I've enjoyed teaching the students this year. We had some really excellent interactions and learning opportunities on both sides, I think. So thank you. I'm very grateful. We're on to our next award, and that is the Creative Teacher Award. And the award is for someone who thinks outside the box when delivering the curriculum. And the criteria for this award is that you must deviate from the use of PowerPoint slides or reading from a textbook. Effectively engaging your students and keeping them interested in what is being taught, as well as incorporating a number of different teaching methods and giving considerations to all learning styles. So we are delighted to present the Creative Teacher Award to Paul Lawrence Young. And Paul. <laughs> Uh, I definitely reckon that goes to everybody because I think I learned something off every single person in this room and the students make it happen. So yeah, thank you to absolutely everyone. We are pleased to present Kenneth Kingston as highly commended for the Creative Teacher Award. Thank my students for um, engaging with, with my challenging ways of um, teaching. Um, some people kind of struggle with it, but it obviously pays off in, in the long run. Um, and likewise, I'd like to um, also thank my close team that um, or fellow teachers that, that Tim alluded to earlier on. Yeah, it, it's a group effort. So yeah. thank you again. Completing a large project or dissertation can be one of the biggest sources of stress for students. So having a dedicated supervisor by your side to support and guide you is vital. The criteria for this award is that you must be approachable, responsive and leave the students feeling reassured. You must be good at giving prompt, relevant and formative feedback as well as being knowledgeable, organised and dedicated to their dissertation slash project. You also provide academic opportunities outside of lectures, encouraging students to aim higher and you are instrumental to their success. So I'm pleased to announce that the overall winner across the entire university for this award is Dr. Shim Peng Don.
Wow, that's really a surprise to me. Actually, when I come in for the uh, no, uh, meeting, I think probably it's, uh, I'm a program leader for my teaching side. But now I realize it's my PhD student. So yeah, so Nonita actually, um, she, uh, I'm really happy she is my PhD. She has a very good personality. Not uh, going, doing well, I'm doing well with uh, me, but uh, she's doing really well in the university. I think uh, she also got two recent university uh, first prize for her work. And um, yeah, so I'm very happy uh, to be her supervisor. Yeah, that's from me. Uh, it's a big surprise for me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So I'm delighted to present the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Business most dedicated project slash dissertation supervisor to Dr. Rania Negweb. Oh, thank you. I have to say I was going to email you because I didn't know what I'm being nominated at for. Thank you very much. Um, I'm, I'm speechless. Um, um, but um, thank you. Um, I'm sure all my colleagues have been also wonderful supervisors. So I'm pleased to announce that the dedicated project slash dissertation supervisor for the Faculty of Science and Engineering winner is Charlie Brangelt. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> that is that comes as a as a big surprise, but um, I <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks we um, I. I, I can only say um, I'm really touched because um, <laughs> it's going to be my last time that I'm supervising um, dissertations because I decided to leave. And it's just so nice to, to have that uh, award at the end of uh, my academic career. Um, and I, I can only say that I have learned so much from my students. They will probably never realize how much I have learned from everybody um, who I've been teaching and, and guiding and mentoring in, in the last 20 years. And, and I think it's, it, is, it is fit for all of us as academics to also recognize how much we learn from our students. So I would like to thank all the students um, for what they have taught me over the, over the years. Thank you. So this award is about supporting students through their time of university, which can make a huge difference. Be it a staff member from the Disability Assist, the UPSU Advice Centre, the Writing Cafe, Pals or Earthwork. Elsewhere, these individuals can truly be one in a million. The criteria for this award is that you must aid students in any shape or form to make their lives and their student experience better, whilst meaningfully and effectively empowering the students you support. You must be professional and patient and approachable. We are delighted to present this year's Support Staff of the Year Award to Glenn Harper. Um, I'm incredibly humbled. Um, I've always felt that it was simply my job to do these things, um, to do them to the best of my ability to help people and if in any way, shape, or form, any way, shape, or form, I've done that, then, then I'm, I'm blown away, literally blown away. Thank you. So I'm delighted to award the highly commended in the Support Staff of the Year Award to Sean Lewin. So the final award to present today is the Placement Support of the Year winner. So this award is for a member of staff who has made a significant positive impact on students' placements. This can either be a year out placement or a part of a course, an internship or a summer placement. And the criteria for this award is providing support within the university or whilst on placement, being willing to give practical advice, a listening ear or academic guidance whilst providing inspiration and direction on opportunities and career planning. They should assist you in navigating the transition back into academic life and help you to implement skills and knowledge you have gained whilst on placement. So we would like to present this award today to Louise Moll. 
Thank you. That's yeah, a bit of a surprise and a bit overwhelmed, but thank you. So we are delighted to say that Paul Lawrence Young has been highly commended for the Placement Support of the Year Award. You sure they got the right candidates? <laughs> I'm pretty certain, yeah. <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's definitely a team effort, I reckon. But um, yeah, thank you. 